All right, guys. Early morning here. Um, we're gonna start this up. It's early, so it's gonna be in quiet mode. But if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, opened up that exhaust a little bit. Probably shouldn't have. Um, just because it is early, it's probably. 6 a.m. here, so. It's a bit of a rough shift to start the morning. This car does that if you uh, if you don't let it warm up long enough. It's a little jumpy. Um, this thing doesn't have a remote start, so it's not very convenient to start it in the mornings and let it warm up. I need to get in the habit of going out to the garage to start it a little more often, but you know, you leave for work at 6 a.m. It's not It's not really convenient to go out there, I guess. I get as much sleep as I can and then go go into the garage and start it almost right away. But uh, we're just gonna do some early morning drives today. Once the car's a little bit more warm, maybe do some pulls. Um, just cause there's no traffic out early this morning. I hit the requirements for it to make a little bit of money I'm gonna put all that money towards parts on here right now I'm just your average guy with a uh, car payment saving up for you know parts so uh, I've got other responsibilities so that's why I can't just throw parts into this thing especially because this is my daily driver um, can't do anything too crazy with it yet but you know, I'm, I'm paying for school out of pocket and stuff. That's why I haven't really been throwing any parts at this uh, car yet. But they're coming. I'm working on it. Um, I'm just trying to use this first year of YouTube to kind of figure out a groove and figure out what I want to do. Um, but we're getting there. I definitely want to make this a little bit faster I don't know if I want to do the E85 stuff uh, I might just do you know stick with the premium fuel I know E85 you can squeeze a little bit more a little bit more horsepower out of the car but um, it does get cold here in the winter and I still want to be able to drive the car and I know E85 it's it takes a minute for your car to start up when it's cold out, so I don't think that's a route I want to go. Um, there's a few E85 stations around here, not a whole lot. This is mostly just like a cruiser car for me. Um, you know, take it out on a long weekend for a drive or things like that, go up to Cars and Coffee. I know, I know some of the stuff I want to do is, uh, is cosmetics. Like I want to get the Mach 1 splitter for the front. Uh, I want to get, I want to see if I can find the Mach 1 exhaust tips and see how difficult that would be to change those out with the uh, ones that came with the active valve. 
because they're uh, the ones that are on the car now they're not they don't look as good as the Mach 1 so I definitely want to do that and I think I want to get the GT performance spoiler I think I want to get that over like the Mach 1 or the GT 500 just due to just how it looks to be honest and I like the paint matched look I don't want um, I don't want to put anything like black plastic on this car because the wheels are silver the paint silver there's no black on this car other than the splitter and the uh, rear diffuser and then I'm not doing euros I might be the oddball here but I actually prefer the red tail lights on here I feel like it ties in together especially the interior this is red and so it just makes sense I do know I eventually want to paint the uh, calipers red too as well just to just to add the red accent onto the outside a little bit more Not there yet right now it's still you know responsibilities come first and um, car comes second that dude's throwing sparks yeah responsibilities first car second school somewhere in the middle it just depends on how I'm feeling that time of week um, you know I gotta get definitely I'm an A student so I'm trying to get my professional engineering license and so I got a lot on my plate I'm trying to make these YouTube videos plus work plus school um, but you know if there's anything that you guys want to see with the car otherwise let me know because um, I can definitely do that I think car meets are about done for the year it's getting cold so won't be doing those a whole lot more might be st still might be some like drag strip nights um, I haven't been to one but there's midnight drags every once in a while I might have to go to one of those That's about it for the talking part. Let's get some uh, POV driving in and then we'll end this video. Won't make it too long. It's always on the back of my mind when I'm wearing this GoPro like oh shit I'm setting myself up to catch something crazy on camera because I don't want to do that because <laughs> you know like you I'm sure if you're like me you've seen those videos on YouTube where it's just a compilation of wrecks or you know just crazy stuff happening and so when I put this camera on I'm like don't want anything crazy to happen. I downshifted too soon.
right guys once we get up here in the clearing I'm gonna do a little uh, third gear pull I'm gonna be crazy fast just because we're only doing 55 miles an hour I could probably drop down a second but I don't want to do that don't ever go triple digits in this car um, you know to me it's like I think the fun is in the acceleration I don't I don't need to go 100 miles an hour to have fun in this car it's from what I've noticed is when I had my my Challenger it didn't do as well in the corners so I enjoyed you know hitting the 120 mile mark in it um, with this car the way it corners and stuff the way it handles It's a lot more fun to go around curves in this car, you know at a decent speed um, You know for example a curve where your average Car might take that corner at like 45 miles an hour uh, This car, you know doing it 75 because it can handle it is a blast um, Don't get me wrong. I still like to go over 100 miles an hour in this car it's just i don't really care to do it as often um it's more it's more that spirited like curvy driving to me is what i enjoy doing like i think there i didn't really pay attention i only went up to 84 miles an hour and you know that was fun just going from 55 to 85 And I also, when there's traffic out, you never know what somebody else is gonna do. Um, you can't always guess if they're gonna stay in their lane or for some reason switch into your lane. And it's always on the back of my mind. It's like, I'm okay with speeding and risking my own life, but I'm not gonna put others in danger. And you guys shouldn't either. the highway was you know out here in Mexico if it was a little bit more empty I would have maybe went a little faster but I only had a short uh, open area to do it and I did it guys I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna end this video here so I can listen to some music before I get to work kind of wake up and uh, my next couple videos might be a little interesting I'm gonna go over you know car cleaning products I've used um, the good the bad like overrated underrated things like that and then we'll go over the drive modes and in, in the car if if your Mustang comes with drive modes we'll talk about it and talk about if they actually make a difference with driving or not. Um, so like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.